Major League Football updates its website, announces four teams, new teams, and locations. So they did update their new site. So with the much talk about MLFB released its four new teams and websites, the website included front office personnel and updated about us page. All the other sections are said it was coming soon. But if you click on the link of the team names, it also reveals the potential future locations of each franchise. Now the plan is for 2022 is to play all the games at one location in Florida. That's their plan. Starting, I believe, in May. We will see if that happens. So the new team are the Virginia Armada. I like the helmet. They're cool. Arkansas Attack. I like it. Ohio Force and Texas Independence. Those will be your four teams. Of course, the league then talks about it's basically a developmental league. Players participate, coaches helping getting guys to the NFL. No word on if there's any kind of where you can watch the games, uh, you know, to be a part of it, nothing like that. We haven't heard of any kind of draft. The only other thing that we did hear this past week was they did, do have a coach. That's right. Jerry Glanville was announced as it's their head coach, their first coach. So Major League Football embarks on its first season. We know our runway gets shorter every day, says Frank Murtha. We need to find a coach that has experience all, not only in football, but in league development. Jerry Glanville fills that criteria perfectly. Not only does he know football and coaching as well on the planet, he is involved in the early life of startup leagues. Murtha continued, having coached at all levels of football, including NFL, Coach Glanville brings a wealth of knowledge to major league football. So they bring in Jerry Glanville as their first coach. He says the excitement of competing is easily surpassed. I guess there was no interest in him in the XFL. So Jerry Glanville now gets a shot at a team in Major League Football. So USFL passed on him, even though he was part of the Spring League, and now he is part of MLFB. So clearly he's not going to be part of the XFL, but congratulations to him. Get a good veteran, a, a name guy out there. I think this was a good pickup for them. Maybe you know MLFB kind of get, brings in like the old, older 60, 70-year-old coaches in there where the USFL and XFL kind of focus on the younger up-and-coming guys um, to build up their leagues or maybe the mid-tier guys. We'll see kind of what happens. But congratulations to Jerry Glanville as now he is part of MLFB. The question still remains, my friends. 